This is Let's Remove It.com and we're going to show you how to remove your personal details in People. Now I'm already at People's website. It's PIPL.com. And on the main page, we're presented with a form uh, to fill out our details on who you're searching for. So what I'll do is enter John Smith and click search. And it'll just take a second here. There we go. Now it has suggested searches here. And as you can imagine, there's a lot of John Smith. So it even has 46 more suggested searches here. And what it's doing is we can click on here. It's showing all of the John Smiths that they have in their database here. What people does is they aggregate from different websites. And you can see these websites down below. So for instance, you got MySpace here, US Search, um, we can County Records, and you know you you got all kinds of things, Wikipedia listings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What people does is they aggregate all this information from different websites. So we actually can't remove your name from this screen here because what it's doing is just aggregating all this information from these other sites now if you remove your for instance right here your myspace listing it's going to remove your listing right here what we can do is remove your name from the people directory listing and that's actually the listing that's stored on people's website and it's usually the page that's crawled by search engines if you ever type your name in google and get a people page it's most likely the directory listing and not this search listing that you uh, that you'll see so let's go back to the main page here we'll just click on that and what we want to do is find the directory listing or rather the removal uh, URL for the directory listing and as you can see they don't make it very obvious here they sort of make you dig around for it um, I've already done that so uh, what you can do is click on this privacy link down below and then uh, it has a lot of information of their privacy policy but there's uh, a little tidbit here it says if you like to control or remove information and it's uh, talking about your personal information that we collect click here so we'll click here to learn how and then it has another link here on the informational removal page uh, this page relates to information found in our search engines. For information found in the directory, please click here. And that's what we want to do. We want to remove the name from the directory. And then here's another page for the people directory information. It says down below, how can I remove my listing? If you'd like to remove your listing from the directory, that's what we want, please click here. So we'll click here. We have the information removal URL. And if you look up top here, it's people.com slash directory slash remove. And so what this says here, this form allows you to send a request to remove information from our directory. And so they give you the format of um, where to find your information in the directory. It's people.com slash directory slash name, and then it'll be your last name, and then another slash your first name. So let's copy this information right here. And we'll open up a new tab here and paste that in. And so we'll just put in this information here. I'm going to put Smith. And then in this next section here, I'll put John. And it'll take a second. Okay, and there we go. And this is the actual listing in their directory for John Smith. And this is usually what's uh, found in Google when you type in your name. You know, you type in John Smith in Google and you get the people page. This is usually what comes up. And so what we want to do is remove our listing here. So as you can see, there's a ton of John Smiths here. It goes all the way down here. What you're going to want to do is find your listing. And you might have multiple listings. So you can remove up to five per email request. Uh, five different listings so what you want to do is once you have this URL in the format that they want it in directory slash name slash your last name slash your first name let's copy and paste this into the form here 
So we're going to copy and paste this in there and then it asks for your email address. Now the entire point of removing your name from people is so that they don't have your information to post later. I don't necessarily think that it's a good idea to enter your email address and give them more information. Uh, the, the entire point of this whole thing is to remove your information. So what I suggest doing, you can set up a dummy address if you want. There's something even easier we can do. We can go to a site called mailinator.com. Mailinator, and I'll post a link down below as well so you can see that. And what Mailinator is, is a disposable email address. You can use any email address and then just click in the search box, uh, or I'm sorry, your inbox here, and you can get your email. And this is a good site for using when you got to sign up for stuff. Uh, you know, say you want to access some site and they say, oh, we just need your email address, but you don't want to send your email address. You don't want to get spam. So you just give them a Mailinator address. You can still access the mailbox uh, and you don't have to worry about getting spammed to death uh, from your real email address. So what we'll do is, um, now you can use any email address, literally anything, and they even give you a suggestion right here. You can use sadguymailinator.com. I'm just going to use, um, I'm just going to use people removal at mailinator.com. And I will click, let me copy and paste that so I know what that is, and I'll click Submit. And now as we can see, we're on that original directory page, and now we have removal links, or, or this removal button. And so what you want to do is find your uh, link or your listing, and again, like I said, you might have multiple listings. Um, and so we'll click on Remove. And it says, your removal request was approved. Please click on the confirmation sent to people removal at mailinator.com. You can remove four more items. So we only have the one listing, so I'll click OK. And we'll go over back to Mailinator. And I click in people remover. That's the address that I used. And I'll click go. And we can see here, we already have the email from people, people directory re removal and the subject information removal request. We'll click that and then it has our email and so it says you asked to remove John Smith uh, from this directory page. Your removal request was approved. Please click this confirmation link. So we'll click the link and the information removal request was successful. Our listing was removed and that's it. So we hope this tutorial helped you. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to visit our site, letsremoveit.com, for more tutorials and articles on how to remove things. Thanks again.